Hi everyone, I'm Paige Abbott and this is your weekly recovery message on the topic of addiction and personality. I hear these two things get confused often. So I've had a lot of clients talk about having an addictive personality and there's even books out there that are written on that topic. And it's important to appreciate that each individual has their core personality that comes with specific traits and characteristics. And then there are people who have the disease of addiction, which is a separate thing over here that does coexist within the person and within the brain. And it does impact personality. But I believe that identifying personality as addiction just exacerbates shame and creates more difficulty and complications. And furthermore, it's not accurate. So addiction is a primary chronic brain disease. It impacts many parts of self and behavior, including personality, but it does not define who the individual is. There's a lot of personality tests available out there. Some of the more common ones include the Big Five, the 16PF, and the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator, which is my personal favorite and the test that I've used the most over the years in practice. What addiction does with personality can be quite interesting. So what I've found is that addiction can do a couple of different things to those core personality traits that an individual possesses. It can either take the core personality traits and magnify them, so pull them to an extreme that's no longer healthy, helpful, or beneficial. For example, people who are feelers by the Myers-Briggs type indicator are individuals who make decisions based on how those decisions will impact other people, including self. So that's what feelers are generally doing in their personality type. Addiction can take that and pull that into the extreme where people are so focused on how decisions will impact other people that they can even forget about themselves in the process. So addiction can take these to an extreme where they're no longer functional, healthy, or productive characteristics. Or what it can do is people may find themselves living in some ways the opposite to their true self and true personality type. So I've seen many times people who are at core very introverted, meaning that they recuperate their energy by being with themselves or doing things that are more introspective and reflective, even being with a small group of individuals rather than a large group, Addiction will play with that and push people over to act more extroverted. So they're out and about, they're engaging with people a lot, going to parties, socializing, but feeling incredibly drained by this because again, that's not their core personality. That's what addiction has encouraged them and pushed them over to that side, but that's not really their true or authentic self. So the hope in recovery for addiction is that identity and that looking at authentic self will be explored. And personality typing can be helpful with this, that personality typing allows people to start to get more connected with who am I? What are my core strengths, vulnerabilities? What do I like? How do I approach situations? How do I rejuvenate and recharge myself? What kind of communication and interaction is most comfortable for me? So personality typing can be very helpful to start to piece together identity and answer some of those questions of who am I? But it's important in doing that to recognize that addiction does influence this. So it can, as I said, warp either exaggerate or minimize some of these core personality traits but if you have addiction you also still have your true self so addiction plays with the true self and it magnifies warps it distorts it but it doesn't define you nor does it change fundamentally who you are as a person so it is important to recognize and come back to that central point that addiction is a part of you it's not all of you personality is you. I wish you the best in your ongoing journey of recovery for the week. Bye for now.